No, my son was really tough on my accent. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, Dad, why are you talking like now, 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 now? Your kids have a favorite character that you've played? Oh, God. You know, uh, they do. And I'm almost, <laughs> years and years ago, um, during, you know, careers ebb and flow. Sure. I'm, I'm very lucky to be in a, in a flow, but mm -hmm. in a, a time of an ebb, um, I did a Hallmark movie. Mm -hmm. And my kids love it. Do they? They absolutely love it. They watch it like during the summer. <laughs> it's one of those things, and they have questions about it, and they want to know what was it like? What were the kids on the, on the show like? What about that girl? What was she like? Were you friends with her? Like, they become complete fans over over this, this Hallmark oh, yeah, movie that, so I, that I did that I was like kind of embarrassed to tell them that I did, and they, they absolutely love it. So it's a good lesson for me to, to not be precious about anything. I love that so much. That is so funny. You're like, what about yeah. everything else? That I, I, mean, like, I mean, like, I was just on a show that was nominated for an Emmy. That was, that's, you should look, you should like that, guys. Right. What about, what about the one that ran for six years? What about the one on FX? Right. That's really, but, yeah, yeah, they, they're, they're all about the Christmas movie I did for Hallmark. That is so funny. <laughs> nothing like, nothing like a little Christmas spirit in the middle of summer, though. And we could all use a little pick me up. I saw, um, I think on Instagram that you said, that your kids also watch some Varsity Blues uh, yeah. during this time? Are they now making you do the accent around the house? <laughs> no, my son was really tough on my accent. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, Dad, why are you talking like now, 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 now? And, and here's the thing, to be truthful, I didn't 100% nail the accent until about halfway through <laughs> shooting that movie. I was 21 years old, I hadn't really done accents before. We didn't really have a dialect coach. We had like a guy from Texas who'd be like, more draw. <laughs> and so, um, you know, there are a couple moments that we, when the accent is a little uneven, and leave it to my eight-year-old to be like, "Dad, I don't like that." <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, tell me bro. How you really feel. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. They have kids will tell you how they feel. That is time. true. That is true. I'm. Sure, what's like the craziest thing that's come out of their mouths <laughs> during this time? I'm sure it's just like you said before, just nonstop chaos. It's yeah. I mean, God, I'm. I mean, I can't, I can't repeat one of the things. Uh, the, the, <laughs> my little one, I was, I was. Can you, can you bleep stuff out on this yeah, or no? Yeah, I, I, I was, I was running around the kitchen. My little one looks up and goes, "Daddy, are you getting it done?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, yes, I am. I am. I was like, what a, what a novel way to curse for the first time. <laughs> Oh my God, that is so funny. How is uh, homeschooling been going? Are your kids back at school? I mean, what's the juggling been like? Cause I- Yeah, they're they're not yet. I mean, this is shuffling the kids from Zoom call to Zoom call was not our forte. It was, it was not, our, not our best moment as parents. Um, <laughs> we, actually, we actually took a, we kind of said, you know what? If they're not going back, like, let's just take it at our own pace. And so we take it into the summer a little bit. Um, we were kind of home, we had homeschooled at one point anyway. Yeah. Um, and they were going to a homeschool co-op. So it's, yeah, it's, um, it was really fun to take a little bit of uh, a more active role in their education. Yeah, yeah. Do they kind of um, understand what's going on right now? Or how, are, how have you and your wife kind of explained it to them? Yeah, we're very honest with them about everything. Um, I mean, I think the fact that we were able to tell them, listen, it's not something that really does affect kids very much. You don't really have to be that. So, the, you know, the, I don't, we didn't want to instill a bunch of fear in them. Um, yeah. I mean, my, my son, every time he talks about it, he says in, this, <laughs> in this tone of voice, he goes, well, Josh, yeah, we can't go to the dinosaur place because it's closed. He goes, because of the corona. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, because of the like, corona. <laughs> so they, they seem to have a pretty, a pretty healthy attitude towards it. <laughs>